early summer is upon us in NYC, which means the whole city is outside enjoying the sunshine, picnicking in the park, and suffocating in the stewing scent of garbage in the subway. But for us, it's moving season. I can't remember the last time I didn't lug all my shit to a new apartment within 12 months of moving into a new space. This is just a constant in my life now, I suppose. But before I leave my lower Manhattan pad, I thought I'd take a second to appreciate my current apartment and everything it has to offer. So here are a list of things I'll miss about my current apartment ranked from sarcastic to serious. Let's get started. The first thing I'll miss is the view. Uh, wait, wait, sorry, sorry. The view. Uh, nope, not, not that one. The view. Oh, yeah, right. There was no view. All of our windows were mere feet from brick walls and construction cut off our last respite of sunshine we had. So I guess I won't miss that so much. Uh, next up, I'll certainly miss the oven in our spacious kitchen. Oh, nope, that's a dishwasher. Where was the oven? Right, there there was no oven. Now, moving on to one thing I will actually miss is these beautiful white painted brick accent walls. Brick walls are classic features in pre-war New York apartments, and considering the other classic features of these apartments, such as dark, dingy hallways and nonsensically small bathrooms, I'd say these accent walls are at least a positive feature. Now, Lower Manhattan is full of these pre-war buildings, which make for an eclectic and beautiful mix of classic New York architecture. The streets of the East Village are lined with these classic buildings, and the neighborhood itself is a hub for late night food and energy. I love it. I'll certainly miss this neighborhood and the $1 pizza down the street. So as it goes in life, there are things to love and things to hate, and you know, you tend to focus on the negatives more than the positives. But that all being said, I will certainly- Babe! We! Oh, right. We <laughs> will certainly miss this building. Yes. You know, not just this building, but this neighborhood. You know, as, as soon as we saw this place, we knew it was definitely the one. The streets are always bustling, crazy amounts of things to do. I don't know, what do you think? Yeah, I'll miss it. The East Village is lit. <laughs> Uh, what do you want me to say? This is gonna be like our, remember when we lived in that apartment, you know? Cause I'm gonna cut to like nice shots of, of our like dining room or, we don't have a dining room, but mm -hmm. you know what I mean. We had so many good memories in the East Village. We lived right by Two Bros Pizza. Uh, everything was super walkable, such a fun energy. Yeah, you know, this is our first NYC apartment. So we feel like we did it right. You know, wanted to be right in the middle of everything, sacrificed pretty much everything. There's no space, there's no washer dryer in unit, there's no oven, like there's so many things we did not have in this apartment yet. That all felt like it didn't particularly matter as much as I thought it would, so that was nice. And I definitely think if you're gonna move to New York, if you're gonna move here for the energy, for the people, you should definitely do it up, live in the middle of everything. And you can always settle down later, but you can not always, you know, level up to this level of energy. So if you're gonna New York, do it right. I have no regrets that we did that. So we are leaving the East Village, but we're actually not moving super far. We're just switching sides of the East River yeah, because we're yeah. just moving over to Williamsburg right by the bridge, not yeah. too far from the water. Um, still pretty walkable, still pretty yeah. close to all the things in Manhattan that we have really grown to love, but also mm -hmm. some things in Brooklyn that are really, really great and will be sort of the next chapter for us. Yeah, so I think that'll do it. Let me know if you liked this style and if you want to see Vina more. I guess next time we'll do another vlog is probably in our new apartment. So look out for that and we'll Ooh. see you next time. Cool, cool. Did you like it? What do cool. you think? Yeah, I know. It was, it was, it was good. It was yeah. good. Um, you're, you're missing something now. You, what I miss? That I thought I got everything. <laughs> One third of this apartment, your roommate, the person oh. you asked to live. You and Bina, your oh. best friend. You know, just for reference, YouTube, you know that little dark door over there that's usually dark when he's recording all of his little videos? Yeah, that's my room. I live there. Yeah, cool. Uh, I was glad I'm to sorry. be a part of this I'm, process. I'm really sorry. It, I'm sorry. That's, I, that's nice. Next you know? time, next time I'll, 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 I'll write you in. You know, I close close the door so you can record your videos, all that stuff next you do. Time, I, pro I promise. Oh, next time. All right, cool, cool. Over I in Williamsburg, huh? Yeah, have fun over there. I, nice. Cool. Oh, no. Have fun in Williamsburg. No, Paul, Paul. <laughs> wait, wait, where are you, what are you doing? No, I'm sorry. I, I'll write you in one, the next one. One year in the city, I'm not, one wait. year in the city, and you're already moving to Williamsburg. Wow, re really close in that typical New Yorker life, life cycle right there. Dude, what are you doing? Are, uh, are you, what does it look like I'm doing? I'm going to give yourself more space to shoot your little videos, dude. so this place will be dark whenever you want it to be. Dude, what? Yeah, well, let me grab my bag. Dude, no, we still got a month left. You don't have to leave now. Uh, dude, you what? got a month left. What are you... No, man. No, no, man. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Don't move out. Hey, look, you, you already paid for this month. Dude, what are you...